Beloved is the first Toni Morrison book I ever read, and I can still remember how it felt to take in her writing. The opening paragraph of the novel, which describes a house possessed by a vengeful spirit, shows Morrison's prose at its best. The writing is poignant and powerful. Sharp words and phrases give the reader a visceral feeling of the venom that this revenant possesses, and in doing so, prime the reader to understand the atrocities that motivate this spirit. These sections are made all the more impactful by the fact that Morrison switches her language to create softer, more lyrical passages when focusing on the inhabitants within the house. To read these words is to really understand why Morrison is considered one of the greatest American writers of all time. Beyond its prose, though, Beloved shows off Morrison's skill as a storyteller. The novel is set in 1873 in Cincinnati, Ohio. The protagonist, Sethe, who was formerly enslaved, is living in this haunted house with her daughter. One day when they come home, they find a young woman, who calls herself Beloved, sitting on the front porch. Sethe believes this woman is the daughter she killed long ago to keep the girl out of the hands of slave traders, because all she could afford to write on the tombstone was Beloved. The novel then follows Sethe and the family's relationship with Beloved. The book, which won the Pulitzer Prize and was a finalist for the National Book Awards, is based partly on the life of Margaret Garner, a real-life woman who did kill her daughter rather than have her return to slavery. This novel is such a beautiful portrayal of heartbreaking cruelty, and it is well, well, well worth a read.